All right, so we took off the emergency brake cable and the brake line as well, um, just so that it's out of the way. This thing's been sitting out here for almost a year, maybe two, probably two. Shit, probably like three. So we're gonna clean it up now. And then on this side, we already got the, we got the bed taken off. So we gotta line everything back up. I didn't put any markings, so I have to kind of bring it back in here. Bring the 8.8 .8 back in here, line it up, put the bed back on and make sure that it's centered to my wheel wells. Uh, I finally made some room in the garage to try to get this done. We're going to work on it pretty hard and hopefully we get it going by this summer. We already got the engine harness all completed. Um, it actually runs. We've started it a couple of times. The only other thing that I got to do is get the fuel system for it. So I have to order a fuel tank. I have a fuel tank over there, but I don't want to use it inside the cab. So I'm going to get a fuel tank that I could put back here and uh need to order fuel pumps and all that stuff for it but first things first we got to put this rear, rear end first so hopefully we could knock that out pretty quick all right so we cleaned it up we have to hit it with the soda blaster and it's there's still rust on it but just wanted to get off all like the top layer later on we'll sand it down um right now we just wanted to get the top layer off so we could put it inside All right, so we kind of got the rear end where it needs to be, we believe. Like I said, we still got to put the bed back on and um, see if it centers out inside the wheel wells. But I think, I think that's going to be it right there. If anything, we might just have to move it a little further back. We still have to work on the angle. We got to go two degrees up. To get our three degrees i think it's three degrees i still i have to do some more research on that i can't remember but i'm pretty sure it's three degrees um so yeah we'll see if we get this tomorrow and do some more test fitting before we got to weld everything in all right so last week we were getting ready to weld these brackets on, but it came up a little bit further back from where I had my boxing plates. So I went ahead and bought some more uh, 316 gauge uh, or thick steel. And I cut out the pieces that I need. There's the one for this side. I'm going to get ready to weld it in. And then the one on this side is right here. So, I didn't really feel like cutting a bunch, so I just notched it a little so it'll fit in there. So it fits nice in there. And then we'll weld it in. Alright guys, well I got a little bit ahead of myself. And I welded those uh, boxing plates that I had told you guys about. Um, ended up using a 316, which that's what this is. Uh, plate and then these ones it, it all depends on the height of your um, differential so everybody's is different so I didn't really show it um, mine ended up being at 13 and a quarter center and I needed to go down five inches so it ended up being at from the floor to the center here at 8.25 inches and then this one here had to be two and a eighth yeah two and one eighth center above the center of the axle so it ended up being at a what was it 15 15 15 and 3 eighths so 15 and 3 eighths from the floor so I got that welded um, this here I'm gonna have to kind of trim this bracket so that it ends up fitting here nice um, the one on this side 
this one will actually get trimmed as well it'll end up getting trimmed around like right here so that it becomes flush um, I might end up trimming this piece right here from the the rear end trim this out so that I could maybe turn this piece further this way um, and that's it uh, I'm gonna just tack everything in and then I will go ahead and do this side. When I do this side, I'll do more of a time lapse. Um, I was going to, but I just didn't want to mess with it. I just wanted to see if I could get everything lined up how I needed. Um, I measured everything out. I ended up going from here on the truck frame to this mark right here on the axle and once I was squared I put the the bed back on and I made sure that my wheels were where I wanted them to be and everything looked good so then I welded these pieces in so that it wouldn't move anymore and I made sure that my pinion angle was uh, up three degrees so yeah I'll make sure to do another video and do more of a time lapse so that you guys can see how that goes and then we'll also weld everything in um, thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe thank you